All right, crazy moment incoming. Not, not. I mean, that is that is like that is a cool moment, but that's not the moment I was talking about. We have hit a hundred login bonus claims. Let's go and forty six likes. That's a uh, pretty cool too. Anyways, I have been terrible about recording videos for this part, and I'm trying so hard to get better at it. And I think my biggest issue right now is even with like the progress I've done, I was super motivated for a while and did a lot of progress off camera but even more recently within the past like week and a half or so i haven't had much inspiration for this park and i think the biggest problem is that for the full what are we on now 112 hours of this park's existence i have spent all that time in two sections so i am going to spend a little bit of time at the very beginning of this video just talking about it really because i really want to change how i do videos on this series to hopefully make it a little bit more entertaining for me and maybe more entertaining for you guys as well and hopefully not end up doing quite so much progress off camera from now on because as you can see a lot has changed since I last logged on or not logged on last did a video on this park so I think this video will more than likely be the final video I do on this Hot Wheels cyberpunk section of the park. I think I've done four videos on this park now and all four of those videos have been in this section of the park I'm pretty sure aside from like the first one where I built the entrance and as awesome as some of the buildings in here have turned out like this this building right here I love this building this building looks great in my opinion i think these buildings look i think this area here looks pretty good as well but there are definitely some other areas of the park that just aren't as interesting and a lot of it is because a lot of the shapes are the same so at some point i am going to loop back around to this section of the park and i think i'm going to completely cut off the city at this point and redesign everything but yeah so the first thing i'm gonna do is build up this building here i'm gonna work on i'm just gonna do the whole building and then we'll do the sign and i think i might do it in time lapse we'll see and then i'll do the sign and the transition in real time or at least some of the transition i think the transition's gonna be quite detailed so there's a chance a lot of that ends up needing to be cut out as well but we'll see This looked a lot better in my head, I'm not gonna lie. Now, unfortunately, um, this is probably the best I'll be able to get it for the time being, just because of the file size limit. My original plan was actually to try and use these, like, glass panels, make them pretty small. We're just gonna go no snapping for now because it doesn't matter too much. And I was gonna, like, layer them, not quite that big. And then, let's see, I'll copy one of these light balls real quick. And then, on these glass pieces, I was gonna make them, like, for example, this blue color and then we were going to have 
the light orbs and stuff inside of them kind of like this and then that way I could layer them with the different colors and then you could also see the path through a little bit so I could do a better job with the texturing of the path transition underneath and make it look probably do the glitch effect a lot better than this um, I'll probably revisit this at some point in the future if I can find some better way of doing this or maybe the local item limit is increased because I really can't do much more than this because I still want to put a sign here which I really don't think is gonna work out but I will try regardless so yeah I, I changed one of these what is this this is on ice I didn't even notice that was on when did I change that I don't recall changing that but I'm just gonna leave it like that because I'm lazy anyways while I get started on this sign there is actually something I wanted to talk about a little bit in terms of this game and like rides and stuff I want to see on this game because I feel like more recently we haven't really been getting like entire new rides like I mean we did if we go into roller coasters we did get the extreme launch coaster here which I mean that's great we now have new gen Vacoma roller coasters in the game but if I'm gonna be fully honest I would love to see a set of updates that just purely focus on bringing some of the older models like older ride models into the game um, and I do have a few particular models in mind that I personally would really like to see because one of the roller coasters I want to build here that's actually going to be in the next area I start working on is a Schwarzkopf looping roller coaster which I'm going to have to use the phase turbine for because that's like closest track type and closest ride car that we really have to that. Yeah, I would love to see a Schwarzkopf looping roller coaster. I think the older aerodynamics models, or not older aerodynamics models, but like the aerodynamics train type, I'd like to see that because we have we have old Vacoma, like the old Vacam Vacoma trains, and I guess we do kind of have, like this is the closest we have to old aero trains, which is a bit unfortunate. And with how, with how big a deal aerodynamics in general and like the coaster world was, I'm kind of surprised there's not like all of the aerodynamics models already in this game it really just stuff like that those are like the primary examples I really have right now that I can think of um, there's definitely more that I would like to see at some point I would be interested to know what like other people like what ideas of roller coaster models anyone watching this would like to see I would be very interested to know like if you agree with what I've said about needing an update where we just bring in a whole bunch of older models or if the game should focus more so on newer models or I guess continue to focus on newer models I, I don't know I don't really like to complain about stuff like that not being in games like this too much um, especially with this being like a Roblox game I don't really know how difficult it is to implement these roller coaster types into the game I imagine it's not super easy because with a lot of those ride with a couple of those ride models I mentioned that would require an entire new track type probably and then obviously new designs for the trains and all the train cars cars and stuff like that. All right now, now comes the part where I need to figure out. That is tiny. I just now realize how small this pillar here actually is. I guess it's not that big a deal because it's going to be diagonal going across here, but still. <laughs> I didn't realize just how skinny this was. All right, I gotta put like lights on this or something. Just something to make this part of it more interesting. And then I gotta try and copy this whole thing. I don't think this will be too many items, but we'll see these lines tends to make it hard to tell what I'm selecting and what is already selected. I think that's everything. I'm gonna hope that's everything. Alright, this is the part where I discover that this is way too many items and cry. Now what angle do I want this at? I'm gonna go 11.25 maybe? That's too much. Let's go 5 degrees, I guess. I, want, I don't want it to be too steep, but it needs to be steep enough that if I do this it'll end up Oh, I still have this on. If I set this to relative, oh, thank goodness. It is going to cooperate, it looks like. Now, I bet you I'm going to be able to build all of this for the sign, and then I'll get to the image panel. It'll be like, I, nope, nope, too many objects. That's, that's, that's too much. We can't have that here. Okay, that placed. Yeah, this is the scary part, figuring out how much of this is actually going to, oh, maybe I will be able to make the whole sign. And I think a little bit ended up inside the house. Oh, it placed! <laughs> okay, I do need to briefly move this 
this so I can try and get some of the extra things out of here. Watch me accidentally delete something important. I'm kind of surprised that actually went in. All right, one final thing I do want to try quick. This might be pushing my luck a little bit, but I do want to put these, one of these over here, just so it looks like this is actually connected to something. All right, there we go. I do need to get an image panel up there, but I think that'll have to be all I really do for this sign. I am going to do something to this cube thing here, but that is, I'd say that's pretty nice. It works, I guess. So now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm, I am going to reveal what the next section over here is going to be, and then I will kind of explain my reasoning for why I decided to make this the theme, because I feel like I never really actually explained what exactly the um, overall theming of this park is. So Alex, I'll reveal the next area and then we'll I'll explain that a little bit. So the next area is going to be themed to this game, which I've played on the channel a couple times. Now, in terms of what exactly in this game is going to be put in here, it's going to be primarily old Pixel Gun 3D stuff, not like current Pixel Gun 3D because Pixel Gun, current Pixel Gun 3D is garbage. Yes, yeah, so this will be primarily themed to old Pixel Gun 3D, so there will be a lot of references to like old removed content and a couple of references to like old maps. And I do have two pretty big rides I want to put in here. I am going to put in that Schwarzkopf looper that I mentioned before. I, I'm going to try to put it in this area. I'm not 100% if it'll fit in this area just because it's the one other ride I want to do, but I do want to try and fit a Schwarzkopf looper in this section of the park. But I also want to do like a dark ride. We're going to do a dark ride themed to the first world of the Pixel Gun 3D campaign, which I think should be pretty awesome if I can do it right. So yeah, but I think I'm also going to kind of theme like the overall, like the main, like when you're just walking around the themed area, it's going to be themed to one of the maps that is in Pixel Gun 3D. I'm going to I'm going to try and like decipher what seems to be like the most iconic map from that. Um, I'm kind of trying to decide between Heaven Garden and Paradise Resort because I feel like those two maps are pretty iconic in terms of Pixel Gun 3D. So since I did, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I briefly mentioned it a couple times like what the overall theme to this park is, but I do kind of just want to talk a little bit more about it. The overall theme of this park is supposed to be like a lot of stuff that made up, I guess, my childhood and stuff. So that's why like there's a hot Wheels themed area because Hot Wheels was like my favorite thing ever for the longest time and I still do collect Hot Wheels to this day. And then obviously Pixel Gun 3D is a game I played a ton in my childhood. I did talk about it a little bit when I was first making Pixel Gun content on here again. And then obviously this ended up being a Theme Park Tycoon 2 project because I've loved theme parks and roller coasters all my life. So yeah, pretty much everything in this park in some way has something to do with my childhood, I guess. But yeah, anyway. I, that's pretty much it, I think. I think that's all I really wanted to do for this video. Uh, I'm not going to put the image panel up on here right now because I need to create the image that's going to go on here. And then next episode, we will be starting the next area. And we have a visitor, so I will not be able to leave the game immediately after recording this video. Great.